Right then, I'm back. I've actually allowed this to ferment for eight days because it's Sunday now, so you can really tell it's been really gassing up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sieve that into a bowl and then I'm going to get 250 ml of boiled water, like so, and then I'm gonna dissolve 500 grams of sugar within that. I know it sounds like a lot of sugar. It is going to eat a lot of sugar up. Alexa, scare me. Bring away your roses. A pocket full of posies. A tissue, a tissue. Wow, that is a little bit scary, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dissolve 500 grams of sugar in here. Now it does seem like a lot of sugar, but here we go. So I've actually decided I'm not going to use 500 grams of sugar. I'm going to half that, so I'm going to use 250 grams. Just too much sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dissolve that. And let that settle to one side and then I'm just going to strain this into here make sure you do not discard any of this I have left a load at the bottom so I need to make sure I get this out and then I'm going to squeeze a lemon the juice of one lemon like so I'm just going to stir that through I'm just going to put that in the microwave just for one minute, just so it makes sure it dissolves. I need a lot of water, I need 1.5 litres of water. So I'm just going to measure this out. I'm going to use filtered water. Alexa, scare me. So that's one and a half litres here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some of this into here. Make sure you get all the sediments out. There's 1.5 litres of cold water here, and then this is lemon juice and also the dissolved sugar, so I'm going to add all this into here. I'm going to put the sediments back into just a side bowl and then I'm going to add the ginger beer starter into here and then now I'm going to pour this into the bottles so it actually comes with four of the PET bottles which is really good and I'm going to label them up homemade ginger beer So I've just labelled them all up, <clears throat> like so. And I'm simply just going to pour into here. I'm just going to pour in. I'm just going to leave a nice healthy little gap at the top. And my wife Jenna's going to love this. Healthy, but amazing homemade ginger beer then there we have it so we're basically just going to really tighten this up put all the lids on there we go so what i'm going to do now is i've got roughly 200 ml of water left and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the starter plant the ginger plant here back into here make sure you wash your hands and I've actually got something that I've had for a long time. So I'm just going to get this out of the fridge. And it's basically this. So I'm going to fish this out. Something almost alien-like. Look at that. I'm going to 
which put that into here. And I'm gonna add the sugar, sugar mix back in. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Then I'm gonna start the cycle all over again. So every, seven, every day I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sugar and dry ginger or chopped up ginger. I'm just gonna let that sit. So really hope you're enjoying the show. Please do subscribe, lots of love and passion going into this. If you're also interested to hear about what you've been making, your ferments. Absolutely love making homemade fermented beer and also elderflower wine. I've just covered a water kefir recipe, so please check that out, it's absolutely amazing. So really hope this does inspire you. Do adjust the sugar content to whatever liking you want. I'm sure you can bring this down to a much lower level of sugar, just so the ginger bug and the ginger starter actually eats the sugar. So nothing too much to worry about with the sugar levels, but I do know that my wife will really love this. So take care everyone, enjoy.